Laura, so glad to have you with us. I love all the stuff you have going on. I appreciate all you do and who you are and all you stand for. And it means the world to have you here. Here on Reinvented Daily, everyone's favorite question, what is one thing you've had to reinvent right now? I've had to completely pivot my entire professional perspective. Um, I'm in a people business. I grow my practice and what I do for a living by shaking hands and kissing babies, literally. And we can't shake hands and we certainly can't kiss anybody's baby right now. So I've had to completely shift how I approach getting what I do and my message out to the people who I want to reach. Um, so I think like a lot of people, technology has become my best friend in this. And um, it's, it's forced me to have to put myself out there in a way that's a little scarier than just I'm at a networking event. I'm, you know, meeting people in my day-to-day -day life. I've had to use my social media platforms um, to get my message across. And that, I love attention. I'm a Libra. I like to be, I'm the loudest girl at the party. I'm, I'm dancing on the table. <laughs> but that's a different type of attention than talking about what you do for a living and how you might be able to help people and why you're the subject matter expert at something. That's, um, that really exposes you and it strips you to a way that is scary, even, even if you're an extrovert. So I've had to pivot not only my actual platform, but just my ability to put myself out there, talk about myself. I'm not big on talking about myself and I'm not big on leading with business. I like to develop relationships first and then business comes naturally. And this has forced me to lead with business. It makes me incredibly uncomfortable. Um, but it's working. And um, I'd say that if, if something's making you uncomfortable in your business, it's probably the right thing to do. So just keep going. Um, but that's how I've had, I've completely had to pivot the way that I get my message and what I do out to the world during these weird times. Absolutely. And Laura, I totally appreciate all you do. And I think what you're getting at as well is for what you do, the industry that you're in, you know, it, it's a lot more professional. It's a lot more buttoned up but I think the difference is where you shine and where you are a guiding light here is that you lead with yourself. You know, there's, there's numbers and, and all these different things and, and strategies, but you lead with you and you lead with being yourself. And I think that's the difference that you make. And that's where, again, you truly shine. And, and I applaud you for it. And I'm inspired by you for it. And it leads us to our next question, Laura. It's, yes. you know, what's the new conversation that you want to start as we move forward? I would really push people to throw shame to the wind because I think vulnerability and shame go hand in hand and they shouldn't. And if you can lead the way with a vulnerable moment, you allow other people to follow. Um, so be that leader in vulnerability. When somebody sits down with me and talks about their money or their financial situation, it's one of the most vulnerable places they can be. There's so much shame around money and what people have or haven't done or where they think they should be. Um, I see it every day. And so if I can be really open and truthful, that's all anybody wants from other human beings is truth um, and acceptance. So that has been huge for me personally and just unbelievably huge for, for my practice, my business, and my clients. Um, I watch them just take a breath and say, this is a safe place where I can be vulnerable and we both grow. So vulnerability, vulnerability, vulnerability all day long and everything you do.